Hey, so I'm here at Lobo Canyon Petroglyphs in El Maipai National Conservation Area. Um, yeah, just take a quick look at these and then I'm going to move on to some volcanic wonders and things like that. So let's keep going. The El Mai Pai area, a land of volcanic wonders, covers a large section of west central New Mexico. This national conservation area includes huge cinder cones, jagged lava fields, miles of underground lava tubes, and year round ice caves. El Mal Pais means the badlands in the Spanish language. Unfortunately, I won't be able to visit any of the caves on this trip. Um, they actually have them all closed right now uh, to protect the bats and the caves. Um, the white nose syndrome is killing off the bats and humans are spreading it. And also there's been a lot of vandalism in the caves and other things. So they are closed for review. I don't know if this bodes well for me or not. Uh, <laughs> I'm being surrounded by cows. Wow. <laughs> I think this is my turn off, but I'm trying to check. Well, not a hundred percent sure. <laughs> Okay, according to my instructions, we go left and stay on Cebola Canyon Road. Okay, we're going to go and look at some petroglyphs. I'll try not to bore you. I guess that um, doing this kind of thing is more of an adventure for me than you. Um, I like getting away from people being in places that few people are. <laughs> when I come to somewhere like this, I just feel at peace. I, I just can breathe. And, uh, and so I come to them whenever I get chance. <laughs> well, thank goodness I found them. I blew them. I blew straight past them the first time. And man, am I out of shape after a winter down south. I'm not doing that again. I don't intend to do it again. Hey there, so these are the petroglyphs behind me that are at Lobo Canyon in El Maipai National Conservation Area. That's a mouthful. Um, they really are quite magnificent. I do have an information brochure on it, but it doesn't give me the, um, the dates or anything.
going to move on to another spot now. I'm going to look at some um, lava fields and stuff like that. Uh, so let's carry on. Hi folks. So we are now on the lava trail. So we are following the rock cans and as always stop and look for the next one before you can continue. So for out here, oh there it is, we are hiking on lava so this doesn't really leave as much of a trail as you would find in many places. And it's not always obvious. So according to my pamphlet, this area and for nine miles around McCarthy's crater was used as a bombing area during World War II. And there's a chance we might even find some unexploded ordinances. This is a fall of lava. Well, we may as well do the lava bowl. So this is the Xenolith cave. Um, I think you have to have a permit to actually go in here and I thought it was closed but there's no sign saying 
that it isn't and it points the trail going this way so I'm not really sure what to do. is the back cave. This is a lava trench that begins at the mouth of the volcano and it was like a lava tube apparently it had a covering but then it collapsed shortly after it formed. looks cool. So tonight Studley and I are parked amongst the pine trees. We're in New Mexico. Um, we're at a higher elevation and tonight it's going to snow and maybe tomorrow too. There's some interesting rocks around here. So my camp spot is by these trees but I have not camped directly under one. And something to give thought to when you're camping um, by trees that haven't shed all the branches, that haven't been pruned by nature, is to uh, not camp directly under any big branches that look like they might break. Now these could easily come down in snow or wind, however, they're pretty small, so I don't think they do much damage. 